where did you find him? I'd say right under our noses. Remember that stall to the right of the house where we first met? Well, that's where he was. Staring at the wall. Staring at the wall? Yes. You've really got yourself a sensational team here, Big Chief. Thank God for me. She knows her stuff. Who's she? You haven't briefed me yet. You're asking yourself whether I can be trusted or not, aren't you? Well, Big Chief, you have read my profile. Sure. And it doesn't match with what's in front of me. Like it or not, we're going to be stuck here for ten days. I can stand my ground. Her name's Elizabeth, but they call her Disgrace. I've read her profile, too. Disgrace, eh? What has she done? 101A, Ranger Course, six years in the Delta. Four missions abroad. God damn it. I doubt she's been through any deep infiltration missions like this one. She's stealth, not a pathfinder. Anyway, she knows how to handle herself in a fight. Although, that wasn't always enough, it would seem. Meaning what? All of her commanding officers have bitten the bullet. Fatal accidents, drowning, friendly fire. And the list is shocking. Nine officers. She's been on leave for some years, but as a civilian she lived the life of a recluse. No friends. And with that stain over her head, not a hint of a job either. I don't believe this sort of shit, but I do know that you Americans tend to fall for easy explanations. I won't let all this become a burden for her, but she has to keep up. According to the report, in her last mission she consciously risked her own life without just cause. She was awarded a silver star, but her superiors wanted to get rid of the problem. And here she is. I don't need any erratic behavior from her. I'm sorry about her situation, but I've got reasons for completing this mission. If I see her doing anything that might put us at risk, I'll bury her with my own hands. Now go and get some rest, hero. We wake at six. We make for Daskasan. That's what my opinion of you will be based on. Try to keep this in mind and stop acting as if you were on death row. Being my commanding officer makes you feel uneasy, doesn't it? I'll feel uneasy once you get killed for nothing, or when you act out of despair. I don't know why you accepted this mission, but I guarantee you, nobody will come out of this a hero. There are no medals for the war we are fighting, nor epitaphs, only victims. The objective is more important than any of us involved in it. Your commanding officers might be dead, Elizabeth, but you have always accomplished your missions. If that's the outcome this time around, I'll be happy just the same. Okay, we make camp. I'm gonna put up some sensors. With those, we'll know if anything tries to get near. <laughs> 